So I'd like to just give you a couple of tips for practicing these etudes. First, I think both of these are pretty straightforward. So if you put your metronome on the, the practice tempo or the performance tempo and you can stay with it, I think you're doing a good job just to stay continuous and keep yourself in tempo. I do want to mention one thing about the lyrical etude, specifically in measure nine. A lot of students have a question about that turn, you know, that little curly Q thing that's above on top of the F. So the turn means you play five notes. You start on F, the note, you play the note above, a G, you play an F, then you play the note below, an E, and then you play the F again. That's five notes. Now, uh, you don't play them da 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 da, one, two, three, four, five, real fast. We do it in a specific rhythm where we play the first F long and the four notes equally fast after it. So the rhythm would be right? One long and four faster. Now, one thing about this, uh, you can use to make it easier because it has to be faster than that. You can use the trill key. If do you know the trill fingering for F from F to G, if you finger an F the regular way, a regular F and you wiggle your first, your index finger on your right hand, that's the trill from F to G. So we would use the trill fingering. Okay, that's how we do it. But it goes pretty fast. It goes, sorry, it goes. You see how fast that goes? So if you use that trill fingering, that'll make it go faster. I also have one thing I'd like to mention about the technical etude. Uh, it's straight 16th notes. So again, if you just practice with your metronome, you should be fine and just try to be even. But I'd like to give you a suggestion for a little higher level of expression. Instead of just going that sounds very mechanical and we want to try to make it sound a little more musical. So we want it to have a little lilt, a little flow. And if you can kind of uh, maybe even accent ever so slightly or put a little bit of a legato on the very first note of each measure. The first note of the six in every measure will just be a little longer. It's like If you can do something like that, it'll sound easier, it's more fun to play, it's more fun to listen to, and it'll help you sound more expressive. So I hope you have fun and you can do it and good luck on the audition.